Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. And I am so excited to be here to talk to you tonight about avocados and uh, picking the right avocado tree. And the reason why I wanted to do this tonight, and I felt it was very important to do this, is because I was having a conversation today with, uh, hold on one second here. Let me get this. Uh, <clears throat> I was having a conversation today with uh, one of the people, uh, D, uh, Dustin from D's Trees, and we were talking about uh, people not listening and just buying something that they want to buy regardless of what you tell them, advice you tell them. So the example he used was uh, somebody called him up and said they wanted a Monroe avocado tree. And he said, I recommend an Oro Negro avocado tree. It's the same season, uh, but it's a much better tasting avocado. And the person said, no, I want a Monroe. I want a Monroe. So, you know, he, he gave them what they what they wanted. But putting ourselves in that situation, I want to make every, help everyone make the wisest choice. Now, let me explain to you. I've done a video like this before explaining how I research avocados, but I no longer, it's not just about research. Now it's a practical application of what I've tasted, what I've heard, what I've seen, what trees I got rid of and what trees I didn't get rid of. Today, I got rid of an avocado tree from my yard. Last week, I got rid of another avocado tree from my yard. And I have, I, I'm in South Florida. So let me uh, just get on here. I'm going to share some screens with you today, but I want to make sure we're on, I'm, I'm on uh, the screen here so I could see everyone and see your comments. So if you can hear me, everyone, give a thumbs up or say something like that. And so I'm going to talk about this is such an important topic. So let's see here. Come on. <laughs> so I wanted to do this live. I was going to just make a video, but I thought it was uh, helpful to do this live. So uh, let's. There we go. Live chat. All right. If you guys are in the live chat, uh, say hello. Let me know you hear me and everything's OK with that. This is such an important. righty. Great. All right. So uh, avocados in South Florida. Now, if you're in uh, central to North Florida, this might not pertain to you. But I'm going to give you resources today of who to contact if you're in northwest, uh, in the north or central or west uh, South Florida or Florida. Uh, South Florida, everything I'm saying here today pertains to South Florida, where I live and the videos I've been making about. Now, if you are in, in the northern uh, or north of South Florida, in central Florida, anywhere, I guess, from Jupiter, uh, north of that, or out west, uh, north of Tampa or Tampa, uh, contact Mike from Trees and More, Trees and a letter N More on Facebook, and he can tell you more about the best avocados for the colder climate. And he doesn't even sell avocados for the warmer climate. He just sells them for for that environment. So check him out, Micah Trees and more. And so, and he has other great trees as well. So my experience with tropical fruit trees or fruit trees in general is different than others. We all have a goal of why we want to grow fruit trees. And avocados are so important to me to achieve my goal. My goal is... Uh, to get all of my nourishment from the food I grow. I know some people do this as a hobby. Some people do this uh, for other reasons. I do this because I eat a diet of just fruits and vegetables and some nuts and seeds. And everything I eat has to uh, come from uh, a fruit or vegetable and other seed. I don't eat anything else. So I want to provide myself with the best possible trees that are going to give me the most amount of food possible but i also want the highest quality and the best tasting food you know so if you go into a here here's a this is a a store-bought Haas avocado i've went into uh the local supermarket here let me turn this i went into the local supermarket and i've bought uh avocados that were like this that tasted terrible but I've also bought some that tasted amazing. We just don't know what we're getting pretty much. We just have no idea what we're getting. And 
Uh, I'm finding the same things happening with avocado trees because people aren't doing the research when they're growing avocados here in South Florida. Uh, so I, I hate to put trees in and take them out. And I don't want people to have to do what I did. So uh, we're going to talk a little about uh, about today uh, of these different avocados. I'm going to show you different screens of where I did my research and where I get my research from now. So I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to go to some websites, and uh, you're welcome to ask some questions here. Uh, if if you're watching this at a later time, post your questions below. Uh, but I'm going to give you these resources. So uh, let me share the screen now and tell you this, because this is uh, so important uh, if you're growing food. And if you're growing avocados or you choose to grow an avocado, if you only have one, then you got to decide what season avocado you want because there's different seasons to avocado. If you can grow two avocados, you're going to cover most of the season. If you can go three, you'll definitely cover the season, which is nine months out of the year you can get avocados here in South Florida. Now, California is a different beast. California, I've been to California. My favorite avocado in California I've tasted was a reed avocado. R-E-E-D, reed avocado. You, uh, they do sell it here in South Florida, but I just, I, I don't hear anyone growing it. Uh, I don't know how well it'll grow here in South Florida, but I know reed avocado goes great in California. And it's, in my opinion, the best tasting avocado that I've tasted when I was in avocado, uh, when I was in California. Uh, so, and, and I know there's the Haas and there's a Florida type of avocados. Florida can, you can grow Haas avocados in Florida. So I don't want anyone to be mistaken that. Now, if you're watching on one of the other streams, you can go to my YouTube channel, Fruitful Trees, right now. And on Fruitful Trees, you can see the screen share that I'm about to do that talks about all the different varieties of avocados out there. So uh, we're going to go there now and share this screen. And, and I've made a lot of avocado videos in the past, and some of them were years ago where I didn't have as much information I have now. But this is the most updated information when it comes to growing avocados in South Florida. So uh, so if you're interested in an avocado tree, take this seriously. So let me share this screen here, and let me find out where we are. Okay, there. Okay, I'm going to share uh, several different uh, uh, screens right now. And the this, this screen, screen sharing should be on. And okay, so the first place I want to go is uh, a local nursery here where I uh, originally, this was the uh, first nursery I knew of. It's right near my house and it's a big nursery. They have a, a, tr a really wide selection of a lot of uh, different uh, foods. Uh, but uh, he, when it comes to avocado, I have a tremendous list of avocados, as you see here on the screen. Now, with all this list, how do we know what's good or bad? Because they don't get any, give any information on what's good and bad. The only way you're going to know is you go to, the, well, hopefully you would research this on your own. But if you're at the, at, at the nursery and you say, I want an avocado tree, uh, they're going to recommend something to you, and you're, you're really relying on that worker there uh, to tell you what you should get. And, what, and I've seen people do that. They have no idea what to get, and they ask the worker, and a worker will tell them. The problem with this is taste is subjective. So, you know, they might be sincere in what their thoughts are, but that might not be true. So we're going to look through a lot of these here. Uh, and again, we're in South Florida here, so... Uh, in South Florida, you know, it might be different if you're in California or if you're in northern uh, or central Florida. But uh, of these here, I'll tell you just on this list. And this is uh, one of the bigger nurseries here uh, in West Palm Beach. But on this list, you have uh, a bacon avocado that uh, I'm going to go over the common popular ones. And then we're going to go and look at how do you find out more about these and researching them. And then the problems with those. And then we're going to get into the varieties and where you can get them and the ones I recommend uh, without a doubt. <laughs> the ones I recommend and the ones I definitely don't recommend based on your goals here in, in, in South Florida. So uh, the bacon avocado on this list is a California avocado. California avocados typically don't do great here in South Florida. It's just a different environment. However, bacon avocados are known to do well here in South Florida as well. 
However, considering all the avocados that are out there, I wouldn't get a bacon avocado if I'm here in South Florida. As a matter of fact, I once did get a bacon avocado, but before I decided to put it in the ground, I decided to get rid of it because I just don't want an avocado. It's not going to taste like when I go to buy one of these Haas avocados from the supermarket, there's good and there's bad. If they all tasted like the bad ones, I wouldn't even eat avocados. But if you get a good one, it's absolutely amazing. But unlike the leaving it up to the supermarket to know what it is, I'm going to know what it is based on when I when I go to the uh, get the tree. So bacon avocado, I wouldn't do. So I'm not going to read these other ones on the list. They're not as popular. Brogdon avocado is a very common popular one out here. And a lot of people love it. I tasted it. I uh, We're going to look at the the description more closely, but Brogdon's a common one here. Catalina's uh, Choquette's common. Dea's common. Donnie is common. Florida Haas is common. Uh, see, here's Forte. Forte is another California one that's not too common. Here. Hall is common here. And Lula is very common. Marcus Pumpkin. Mexicola, Miguel, Monroe, and Nishikawa. Oro Negro, Pollock, Russell, Simmons. These are all common here. Super Haas and Winter Mexican and Warts. So the ones I didn't mention are ones not popular here. I don't even know why this they're even selling them because they're just, I don't know anyone with these other ones, but uh, we're going to go look here at another page here. So when I first got into uh, wanting to know the different varieties of avocados, because I was like most people, I just knew there was the big Florida avocado and then there was this, the small house ones. And in my opinion back then, from what I tasted, the Florida avocado was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible because it was just like watery. It had no taste. But the house one, that's the one everyone wants. The house is great. Oh, and even today, people say that. That's what they think. They think all Florida avocados have no taste, but av other avocados are good. So here's the problem. Here's what people get deceived. So we're looking now at this, this uh, nursery here. Much better website in terms of description. So uh, with all that catalog, with all the things they have, but they have this variety viewer. So with the different varieties in this avocado, and you can get into different uh, avocados here. So uh, they give more of a description. So let's click on the bacon here one second here. So uh, it talks about the history of it. Excellent. Uh, and then it talks about the season of it, uh, September to October. And when it talks about the season, they're, they're pretty accurate. Uh, in general, and it talks about the type of avocado, which is helpful if you're going to have more than one tree. Uh, gets into the tree size, all great information. Uh, fruit quality, and then they rate it here. And it, remember, this is their opinion. Production, this is their experience. Uh, crop consistency, uh, home planting, they say it's an excellent one. Uh, commercial planting, it's so so. Uh, you know, so these are things to consider when you're when you're buying a tree that you're going to plant. Fruit quality, production, uh, crop consistency, commercial planting, home planting. But the one thing they're leaving out of here is taste. Is taste, and yes, taste is subjective. Uh, but I want to go back here one screen here, and I want to show you. And again, if you're watching on a different platform, go to YouTube, Fruitful Trees, and you could like see this uh, right now. So. At the bottom, they go through all these different varieties, and they have uh, more and different varieties than that other site had. But at the bottom, it says their best recommendations for commercial, for door yard, and then it gives you the cold variety. So if you're in uh, central to North Florida uh, or possibly California, these are the ones that uh, are the cold, hardy ones that'll do good. Uh, the Monroe, the the Brogdon, uh, the Haas, the Hall. And it, it, it tells you, because uh, if it's a tropical avocado and it gets too cold, they're just not going to do as well. But these are some ones to consider. Uh, and of all of these on this list, if you are in Central or North Florida, that's the one I'd recommend right there, the Hall. I'd recommend the Hall. Okay, uh, so, but then here they say, best commercial varieties. This is their opinion. Donnie and Simmons for early. Mid, they recommend Miguel and Beta. And late, they recommend Moreau and Chouquet. Okay. And for the best dooryard varieties, they recommend Simmons for early, Mid Miguel, and Chouquet for late. Now, I was all about this list 
when I first read this and I didn't know about some other varieties because, uh, you know, it's pretty good. But there's a lot of lot of options here, you know, and there's some options. Many most people haven't heard of these that are first getting into this. Uh, so so there's all these different options. And. I'm going to name a bunch of uh, avocados. And as I name them, you can go back to this list. Here's another one. And you can just check and see what it says. And so as I name them, you can go back to the list. Uh, and I always like to refer to these things. It gives tree size, tells you if it's a dwarf, tells you the type and all this. So on to the next uh, site here. So this is one of my favorite places to visit, Tropical Acres Farms. They kind of specialize in mangoes, but if you go here, they say we grow mangoes, avocados, and sapotes, or sapodillas, sorry, sapodillas. But they also sell, uh, they grow, they don't sell as much. They grow mame sapote and some other things. But this is the main three things they focus on, mangoes, avocados, and sapodillas. And, uh, but they also have a variety, uh, 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 a variety thing with a lot more, information see their information is based on what they literally have there what they're literally growing and this is how i've tasted many of the different varieties i've tasted so you know they have so let's see so you click on it this is a simmons for example and then they give you all the information with it well they give you the history of it then they tell you the type of it because there's different types of avocados west indian and 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 so on, and then they give you uh, here's here's West Indian, the flower type, and so on. So that's a a pretty cool website uh, and a, a nursery that gets into all these different varieties. Now they, if you're looking for to order grafts or or scion wood uh, or budwood for your avocado tree, this is the place to go they they do that on their website they set it up they do budwood for different avocado varieties for different uh for different uh, if you if you see one that you like or you want to try then you can contact them and you can get the budwood from them and that's great and uh so uh next i want to move on to this place laurafarmsmiami.com and i've been down there many times they're in miami and they have a whole bunch of different varieties to many different things and Julian, who runs Laura Farms, he, he since he was a little kid, uh, has been uh, doing this. His dad owned the nursery and uh, learning the best trees to get. And he has the best of the best. And what he's done is he's taken all those varieties and kind of narrowed it down to get some of the best ones on here. And so, you know, uh, and as you see, it's very popular. A lot of these things are currently sold out, but he's always restocking. But then you have some here that you haven't seen before in other sites, at least the first two sites. And then you see some uh, like this one that no one else is selling and some of these others that no one else is selling. So I've done many videos about avocados. And the cool thing about this place here is you can order uh, avocados uh, in the mail and you could taste them. They have a variety box of avocados. So during avocado season, before you decide to get a tree, you could say, oh, I want to order a box of avocados. What's in season now? And they might say, this is in season, this is in season, and that's in season. So they might send you a box with four or five different avocados. And that's the number one thing I recommend you do. Let's check some. Somebody is really cool. It's a Russell, I believe. But so, it's really cool that you, uh, you, you taste them before you buy them. And don't just taste them once. Because, for example, I want to talk about like Monroe avocado. I've tasted a Monroe avocado, and when I've tasted it, sometimes they're absolutely amazing, and sometimes they're like a bad uh, Haas avocado, just so watery. They they live up to the name of bad Florida avocados. So they're not consistent. Now, they're a great producer. But what I'm saying is if you just taste it once and you get that one that's amazing, you're like, oh, I got to have a tree. But if you get one that's not good, you say, I don't want that. So taste it maybe three or four times. And there's places like this you can order it from and, and, and definitely learn the best ones you want. Now, I'm going to tell you what the best ones are out there without a doubt. Even though taste is subjective, I'm going to tell you uh, what everyone loves. And then there's this place here. This is uh, 
uh, literally uh, an avocado farm. That's all they do. The other places I mentioned, they do everything. They do all different varieties of food. But this is the avocado place. Uh, this is a guac farm. And uh, they have a wonderful, it's actually Sleepy Lizard <laughs> uh, farm. They have a wonderful uh, uh, website and, 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 and they have a YouTube page as well. And you could check out their, their YouTube page. And uh, let's see here. You click over here on their website. You go to guacfarm.com and then go to the YouTube page. If you want to learn growing or, or stuff, anything to do with avocados, that's the place you want. When you click on that, let's see what comes up here. The name is Sleepy Lizard. That's the name of the YouTube channel, Sleepy Lizard. Sleepy Lizard. Look, he has all these different avocado videos. Uh, you know, just this, 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 this guy knows a lot about avocados. Now, he also sells a box of avocados, but uh, he only really has three or four varieties. Now, he's always in stock. And his prices are comparable with the, the, the local supermarket or maybe even cheaper. Uh, so, you know, but he, he has these uh, three or four varieties here. Uh, he has Choquette, he has uh, Hall, and he has uh, Monroe. Those are the three main ones he has. And I definitely recommend people uh, getting a box and checking them out and trying them. So I recommend you going to uh laurafonsmiami.com and try all the all the unique avocados you've never tasted and then the same thing here go to guacfarm.com and try these and and again try them more than once so you know for sure before you plant the tree and and yeah so now i could tell you i've tasted many of these and i am telling you now probably what you've been waiting for you might tell people just fast forward to the end you don't go through all the other stuff, but I'm going to tell you what the best avocados are without a doubt. And the ones that if you don't have a lot of room for avocados, I wouldn't waste my time on. OK, so. I, I Let me open up my list here because. Hmm, OK, I'll go off memory because I had the list open earlier, but I closed it. Let's see. I'll go here and find it. Okay, hold on, everybody, and uh, let's see. And I'm just always moving and taking out things, and I don't want to see you have to do the same thing. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to do this to to help you, not do that. So here it is. Uh, let's see. And I, I don't know how many. People out there in this world, you'll see that loves avocados as much as I do. So I take my avocados seriously. Uh, and see, my neighbor planted uh, some avocados and I was so excited. I'm going to get what he got. And but he didn't taste everything. And for what he's got, he's got some good stuff. But there, I found much better stuff out there. So I'm going to open this up for myself here to view here now. So for early season. Uh, again, taste is subjective, and you also sometimes you might get something better uh, based on the, the tree, the environment, or something else. But what I've seen uh, for early season, we'll go here to laurafarmsmiami.com. You can research this on the other sites as well. Uh, Simmons is the most common, popular uh, variety out here for early season avocado. It's called Simmons, right there. He has some available there. Simmons is is is. Wonderful. That's the most common one out here. Now, I haven't tasted many of them, but the ones I did taste were excellent. It's very common. Uh, I don't know anyone that doesn't like a Simmons. Uh, so that's a good early variety. Uh, another one that a lot of people haven't heard of that uh, I tasted at, uh, at Tropical Acres Farms is Dupuis. This one right here, Dupuis. So the only two places I know you can get a Dupuis tree is right here from laurafarmsmiami.com and also from uh, from Tropical Acres, Tropical Acres uh, Farms. They're the only ones I know. So even though it's even listed here, it might be listed here. Yeah, I, I don't believe they have that available. Uh, 
I could be mistaken, but uh, so you want to go uh, and get, if you want an early season, Dupuis is excellent. I did a video on my website with Dupuis. Dupuis is excellent. I'm not seeing your comments right now. I'll take questions in a little while, but so keep them coming. Uh, Dupuis is excellent. I don't even know how many of you are on, but <laughs> I'm going to, I want to make this video to record this. So for early season, I would do Dupuis and Simmons. Now people ask me about uh, Donnie. They say, is Donnie a good uh, a good early one? Donnie is the earliest of the different types of avocados for Florida, South Florida season. However, from my experience, you know, the longer an avocado stays on the tree, the better it gets. So I've heard people say they absolutely love Donnie avocados, but they let them stay on a tree long enough where they would get their flavor. So after the early season Donnie's, then you're getting into the Simmons and the Dupuis and the other early avocados that are out there. Now, to get a good Donnie, you have to eat it at the same time as the other ones. But the main advantage or reason to get a Donnie was to eat it early. But if you can't eat it early and enjoy it, there's no point in having it. So if you, if you know, and I haven't had a good Donnie even later, but I've had good Simmons and good Dupuis. So I definitely recommend Simmons and Dupuis. Now, there are many other varieties out there. Some of you might have uh, what you think is better and so on. But these, you can't go wrong with these. And that's what I'm, I'm telling you here about now, what you can't go wrong with. You can't go wrong with a, a Donnie, a, a Dupuis or a Simmons. Now, mid-season. Mid-season. So mid-season, and as we get later in the season here in South Florida, it seems there's even more things available. Uh, mid-season, uh, there's there's one that's not on any of these, these list of nurseries that I really love. And then there's another one that's very common that is, let's go find that one. Oh, it's not here either. Wow. Well, it's very well known. It's called, I'll go back to the first list, a day avocado. Now, this is the only avocado I have not tasted that's on my list. This is the only avocado uh, that 100% of the people that I've asked about this, that tasted this, told me it was absolutely amazing. The tree's uh, on, 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 not a big tree. It doesn't get too big. It's very productive. And a day avocado is something I planted, and it's the only one that I planted that I haven't tasted because overwhelmingly, everyone that's tasted it said it was absolutely amazing. Now, I ran into a situation, so I should be careful with this. There's, people told me the same thing about the Brogdon avocado. They told me the Brogdon was the best one. 100% of the people I've asked told me Brogdon was one of their favorite avocados. Uh, but uh, And here's the Brogdon here. But you know what? I, I finally tasted a Brogdon, and I agree with them. It was delicious. The skin was so thin. You could actually eat the skin, so you could eat this avocado like an apple. However, the seed was, like, so big that there was so little flesh on the avocado. For me, it wasn't uh, going to work because I need when I eat an avocado, I want to be full from the avocado. The, the Brogdon is delicious, but the seed was way too big for me. But the day avocado I hear is excellent, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, there's uh, three, uh, two other or three other uh, mid-season ones. Uh, well, there's no, there's three, three or four other mid-season ones I definitely recommend. So Catalina is the avocado of Cuba. Catalina is uh, a Cuban avocado that's great. And somebody told me about it. I finally got a tree. I tasted it. I was so pleased with it. It was excellent. Great flavor. Uh, it's mid-season. Uh, so the early season is July to, uh, would be starting in July and maybe ending in September. Those would be the early season ones, the, the, the Puy and Simmons. The mid-season would be the Catalina Day. Uh, that would be like around August to September or October, maybe November. Uh, but those are the mid-season ones. So you got the day and the Catalina. Now there's another one that people need to get. This is the one I put in the ground today. It's a Maria Black. Maria Black. It's excellent. It's excellent. The reason why I call Maria Black is because it turns black when it's 
when it's when it's ready. It's excellent. Maria Black uh, avocado, and uh, there's only one guy I know who's actually selling these, and his name's Leaf, and he's in West Palm Beach. You can find him on Facebook or contact me, and I'll tell you who he is. He's the only one I know selling them. But the great thing is I go to his yard, and he has a tree, and the tree is like super dwarf. This is a dwarf avocado tree, a real dwarf avocado tree, and he doesn't keep it tall. As a matter of fact, I just planted one today. I'm going to make a video about it. Does have a tight spot, and I don't want the tree to get small. And I've been to Leaf's house several times to confirm. No, he's not keeping small, but every year his tree's loaded. So Maria Black, that's a great mid-season one. I went down to Laura Farms uh, a, a while ago, and and wow, I was blown away by a one called uh, Improved Pollock. Improved Pollock is a delicious mid-season avocado. There's a Pollock avocado that's okay, but it's not the best production-wise. Uh, I actually haven't tasted them, but the improved Pollock tasted great. Production was wonderful. I made a video with uh, Laura Farms about it. Improved Pollock, and that's the one you want. See, it's not even on this list. It's not Pollock. It's improved Pollock. There's Pollock. It's improved Pollock, or Laura Farms calls it Laura Pollock. Uh, but if you go to laurafarmsmiami.com, you can go there right there and they have it in the one gallon they might they have one gallon and three gallon in the website but this is laura pollock it's also called uh improved pollock it's it's a semi dwarf it actually droops when it grows it's it's really pretty cool so uh that's uh improved pollock another mid-season one that's uh really nice that i really like is miguel this is probably the most popular mid-season avocado out there it's miguel it's excellent and uh it, it it does uh it's a nice tree my neighbor has one is productive now here's my only caution on this one i i i don't remember what it tastes like i remember it tasted good but then i started tasting all these other ones and improved pollock was and and, and maria black was so good I don't remember what the uh, Miguel tasted like, but I asked Alex at Tropical Acres, and he was not the biggest fan of Miguel. So I would put a caution on Miguel until further notice for myself. I'd get these other varieties before I got a Miguel, but Miguel might be one of the ones that get thumbs up. Uh, I'll see. But, you know, if I get and, and this list, if I'm getting a mixed opinion from someone, they're not on my list. I'm giving you the thumbs up. Everyone loves these no matter what. No one has anything bad to say about these ones that I'm mentioning. So that's uh, the Maria Black, the Day, the Catalina, Improved Pollock, and Miguel. These are all mid-season avocados. Now, when we get to the late-season avocados here in South Florida, and I know I'm leaving a lot off the list, but I'm telling you there's mixed opinions about any of them. I'm giving you the Thumbs up by everyone. The late season avocados. This is really exciting. And these go from anywhere from starting in uh, November, December, all the way through to February, sometimes even March, depending how long you keep them on the tree. Uh, without a doubt, my favorite Florida avocado, my best tasting Florida avocado is the Oro Negro. Oro Negro. If anyone tells me they only have one room for one tree, uh, in South Florida, I'm going to tell them to get an Oro Negro tree. It's absolutely the best tasting. It tastes better than a than a good Haas. <laughs> it's it's absolutely amazing. So Oro Negro and all these places I mentioned uh, I, I might uh, have them uh, in their nursery. Uh, you uh, yeah, so definitely check them out. Oro Negro, another good uh, amazing late season one that uh, Laura Farms has. Uh, that no one else has. Uh, well, Tropical Acres Farms has it as well. It's called a Ronnie. Not a Donnie, but a Ronnie. And, and it, it lasts a long time. The season lasts long, but it just it tastes really well. So for a late season avocado, I'd recommend a Ronnie. So my second favorite late season avocado in in on par with the Oro Negro, maybe a little bit less taste-wise, but just uh, uh, one of my favorite avocados, probably my second favorite Florida avocado behind Oro Negro would be one called Campong. Campong. 
And Kampong, uh, Laura Farms has it, and also Tropical Lakers Farms have it. As far as I know, they're the only two places that have this uh, mango available. So I hope you're not getting confused, everybody, and you're listening. Uh, but if you're if you're looking for a late season avocado, you want to get the Ronnie, Kampong, or Oro Negro. Those are the ones uh, you want to get here in South Florida. Now, I want to talk about some of the other avocados that I don't recommend and why I don't recommend them, okay? I already spoke about the, the bacon. Uh, Brogdon, I spoke about why I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Uh, Choquette, Choquette and Monroe, uh, they're great consistency. They do well. They're nice avocados. I actually have a Choquette. I just got rid of my Monroe. Monroe, the, 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 the productive is consistent, but uh, but again, I have sometimes have great ones, sometimes not great. And if you wait longer in the season, they do get better. They do get better. Uh, but they don't come close to Oro Negro or Kampong for me. So, uh, But I know some people that love Monroe, and they're big fans of Monroe, like I said earlier. Somebody wanted a Monroe no matter what. So I'm saying, <laughs> okay, maybe they, they're eating them all late and they're all excellent. But a late Monroe is just as good as these other ones. But these other ones are good all the time. So, so and Chiquette, Chiquette is, uh, it's a nice avocado, but it's not something that I would put on par with these other ones. But it, it's very consistent. So, it, you know, it's a, it's a popular one here. I already told you why I don't recommend Donnie. Uh, uh, and Hall is, oh, well, let me add to my late Florida avocados. I want to add Hall. Hall is an excellent late Florida avocado. The Hall avocado, I never heard anyone say anything bad about it. Now, Lula is a very common, popular South Florida avocado. Lula, a lot of people love it. It has a sweet flavor, uh, but I hear inconsistency report, and I don't particularly like that one. Some people absolutely love it, love it. My friend Leaf, he says that's his favorite one. But I hear inconsistent reports with Lula. So I can't recommend that as, as thumbs up from everyone. Marcus Pumpkin is another popular one down here. Everyone likes it because it's really big. But flavor-wise, doesn't come close to these other ones, in my opinion. Uh, and so I would not recommend that. Uh, and uh, Miguel, yes, Miguel, I definitely recommend that. Uh, yeah, as we go down a list here. Okay, here's one, Super Haas. Super Haas is probably the most popular South Florida avocado right now. It's very close to a, taste-wise, to a good California Haas avocado. Taste-wise, it tastes very similar to a good, not a bad watery one from the store, but a good California Haas uh, avocado. However, I just got rid of my Super Haas. I do not recommend getting a Haas. And a lot of you are going to be upset at me. A lot of you have one. A lot of you are selling them more than anyone else. But Super Haas is something that as soon as I got, I heard reports of inconsistent uh, ripening, of not fully ripening. And this was my problem also with winter Mexican. It tasted great, but they did not ripen evenly. Super Haas, this year, the tree... The first 10 I had off it were amazing. They ripened great. It was wonderful. And I must have had two or 300 avocados on a tree. And then after that, I've never got another one that ripe, ripe, was ripe, ripened evenly. And I would say, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe somebody's picking them too early or something like that. But every single person I know who has a super hot avocado is getting avocados has told me the same thing. So I, I can no longer recommend super hot avocado. A winter Mexican, I like the flavor, but again, it ripened unevenly. I don't recommend it. Uh, so uh, that's that. Let's see if there's any others that I, I, I went through either way. Uh, and, and I'm not saying all these other ones are bad. I'm not saying you, you shouldn't get something that I'm not rec I'm saying compared to the ones I recommended, if you don't have space for all of these, don't waste your time on, on, on the ones that taste less. This here's the hall. Hall is an excellent late one that I was telling you. I recommend that. There's the Miguel. Uh, there's the Reed. That's that's the 
great California one. And there's the Simmons. See, they, they have a Polak, but they don't have the improved Polak. So then, uh, and then we have uh, Tropical Acres Farms has all of theirs. They have a bunch of different ones. This one's nice. This one was a Taylor. I tasted this. Uh, it was inconsistent for me. Sometimes it was great. Sometimes it wasn't. But uh, Alex at Tropical Acres says Taylor is one of his most productive trees. Uh, so he 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 often recommends the Taylor avocado. And then uh, let's see, go through his list. And he has all of these. There's the Ronnie. It's excellent. Uh, Oro Negro, excellent. Monroe, excellent again. So I haven't, I'm not looking at the comments right now because I'm looking at the screen, but I hope this information is helping you all. Uh, Kampong, <laughs> out of this world. Can't say enough about those. And whenever, and there's the improved Pollock. Uh, and there's the hall. Whenever I mention these videos, people sell out. So, so uh, there's the Dupuis, Dupuis. I like that a lot. There's the day. Yeah, so what I'm saying is if you're interested in getting one of these, call these places up quickly and, and order them. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah, so let me... Uh, Let me see some of your comments here. But that's what I, I recommend. And I hope uh, people make wise decisions. And you don't do what uh, what uh, the person did uh, when they called up my friend D, who sells trees. And by the way, D's trees, he sells all of these as well. And he sells them Marie Black as well, uh, D's trees. And I'll put the links to all of these below later. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to make these uh, same mistakes. So yeah, somebody's talking about, let's, so I'm looking at the comments now. So if you're watching this later on and you have a comment or a question, please put them in the, in the, in the comments below. But I'm looking at the side chat now because we are doing a live video. Now, if you like this live video and you want me to do more live videos like this, let me know where we can interact live. I was just going to do this in a video, but I, for some reason, decided to go on here live to do this. So uh and also, if you're watching later, put your experience with all these and and the side uh, and the comments, so we just know and we can learn. Somebody said they've been hearing a lot about GEM or the Gem Avocado. Uh, I haven't tried that, but again, I don't know if the Florida one. Somebody told me, I believe, if it was that one that uh, it had a different ripening season than other avocados because there's a there's a window of three months. Uh, that it's it's hard to find avocados. So you have March, so like April, May, and June, or or uh, you know April, May, and June, maybe even July. That's when we don't really get avocados here in South Florida. So somebody from Ventura County talk about California avocados, uh, which is a whole nother thing that I haven't even looked into all of them. Uh, so. Somebody says, if you could plant only one avocado tree, which one would you suggest? That depends where you are. If you're in South Florida, uh, probably Oro Negro, <laughs> uh, but, but it's a late season. If you want an earlier season one for some reason, uh, then one of the earlier ones I mentioned. Uh, somebody asked me if uh, Beckoner is any good. Uh, I don't remember tasting that one. I haven't heard much about it from people. so. Yes. Uh, well, somebody's in Thailand and says they have a bacon avocado. And okay, okay, you know, and somebody, uh, yeah, Russell Long Neck and the Red One are great. Uh, I, I've had them both. They're all right. But again, compared to these other ones, wow. And not everyone's tasted these other ones, but. Uh, check them out. It's really, uh, really cool. So, uh, yeah, let's, you know, get a thread going in the comments below the video after this video is done. So people can always go back and refer to that and decide maybe there's new now. Maybe I'll taste something new and decide, well, now I like this or I don't like that. You know, before Monroe at your quit, we're like, wow, I was listening to what they said on on, on what I told you on that, on that finder that said the best ones for these seasons for commercial and personal home use are these but that's when i was starting out now that i've tasted these and and, and questioned people and went to farms 
you know, it's a whole nother league, a whole nother, a whole nother league. And uh, I'm just excited about avocados. Now, here's another thing about avocados. I have too many. Uh, and avocados, the one food, the one tree, well, not the one tree, but one of the trees is you're not going to eat more than one, maybe two a day, especially the big avocado Florida one. And you get hundreds on these trees. Hundreds. So I, I I'd be skeptical. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, because I don't have the room. Only two trees per season. And you know, in case one is off season and it's not doing well, then you could eat one of those other ones, or maybe you can just mix it up during the season. But I, when I got into this, I had like four or five for each season. And I literally was giving avocados away. I just had way more than I can use. And that's another thing about avocados. So I just planted my Maria Black small tree and you can keep the tree small of all avocados. You won't get as much, but you don't need as much. Think about it. If you eat one avocado a day for a whole month, that's 30 avocados. If you have a family, let's say two or three people, they're eating one avocado a month. You're looking at 90 avocados in a month. Some of these avocados, you're getting 500 avocados. So if you have four or five trees for the same season, a lot of it's going to go to waste unless you're either selling it or giving it away. And I don't have room for all these trees to, to just have stuff I'm not going to be eating. So it was a hard decision to get rid of my super hoss, but it wasn't productive for me. It was not ripening evenly. It was a hard decision for me to get rid of my, uh, take out my Monroe out of the ground, but I needed this space for something else. I already have too many of that seizing avocados. So, uh, so somebody's asking what's the best cold hardy uh, avocado in West Central Florida to get for cold avocados. Contact Mike at Trees and More. Uh, Mike at Trees and More. I know he 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 caters towards the the Central and and Northern Florida. I don't know what he's going to tell you, but uh, my favorite one from the list, I think, of cold hardy ones is the Hall H A L L. H-A-L-L. Now, somebody from Texas is writing, and I even consider Texas avocados. You think, Cali you think California and, and Florida, but, you know, Texas has some uh, avocados. Uh, you can grow them there. You can grow, you know, in, in different places and so on. So I'll try to get to all your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm always posting stuff to... Um, Instagram, Paul Neeson, and also this YouTube channel, I'm posting stuff and I'm going to be going to uh, or posting a video uh, from, from from Leaf here in a couple of days. And I just when I go to places and I see people doing stuff like, for example, uh, I'll, I'll briefly tell you about mangoes. So mango, one of my favorite mangoes, best mangoes were Kit and Kent when I first got into this. Kit and Kent. You know, Gary Zill's mango weren't really out yet. And uh, Kit and Kent were the most popular for the longest time. But then they end up getting a disease. And they're very susceptible to bacteria black, black spot. You know, and there's so many new mangoes out now that are so much more superior in taste and growth and disease resistant. So when somebody said they want to get a mango tree, if they're not uh, educated and you know, I'm trying to educate people, they might request those. And it's like, you don't know about all the new ones that not only taste better, but they, they, they're better productive. Same thing with avocados, you know? So there's consistently, we got to look at the information and don't get caught up in the hype of things like super Haas, like I did. I spent more money on my super Haas tree than any other tree in my yard. I think I spent $230 because they didn't have a small one. And I really wanted a Florida, good tasting Florida Haas. Well, I got it and it tasted great, but they didn't ripen even. Uh, if you want some Maria Black uh, uh, Scions uh, or Budwood. Uh, so the only person I know that's grafting the trees and has a tree and would have Budwood to the tree uh, would be would be Leaf in West Palm Beach. Leaf in West Palm Beach. And he's on Facebook, Leaf McPherson. He's on uh, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So somebody's asking about Simmons. Simmons is the most 
common Florida avocado. I mean, the most popular, sorry, the most popular Florida avocado. And it's, uh, it's excellent. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So I think, uh, I hope you, you got, you got educated from that, everybody. And uh, it helps you understand, uh, the different Florida avocados and, and, and just learning about that. And if there's something you want to see more of, uh, let me know. And, uh, and, uh, let's see. Yeah, if there's something that you want to learn more of, uh, just let me know. And okay, uh, so thank you for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll be back again here uh, with another video. If you like the live video and you want me to do this more in the future, uh, let me know that as well. And uh, we'll do the more in the future. And I'll answer your questions below. I always answer questions on this website. So uh, keep uh, asking, keep watching, and keep sharing these videos. All right. Thank you again, everybody. Have a great night and keep growing.